Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Fong and today I am going to be doing an unboxing video of the Louis Vuitton Odeon purse. All right, here we go. Okay, so in the box you'll see that um, the Louis Vuitton bag comes in a duster bag. So you'll just see this duster bag here, has the model of it. Um, in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the Louis Vuitton Odeon MM bag. So this is not a review for the PM bag. The MM bag is actually the bigger version. So I'm going to um, take the purse out of this duster bag. Get this box out of the way. Here we have the purse and the unveiling of the Odeon bag. And again, this is the MM version. Um, this is in the Damier Ibin coated canvas. Um, some people call it Damier Ibin. Um, it's potato, potato, right? So whichever you want to call it, but I normally hear people calling this the Damier Ibn bag. So it is just a coated canvas and thought so far, I'm liking this bag. Uh, one of the things you'll wanna do is just inspect the bag, make sure that you know there aren't any crazy marks on the bag, um, any imperfections. So definitely want to return it in, in the window, especially if you just bought it. So. Again, here's the bag. Again, first impressions, I love how this bag looks. So um, we'll get into the actual reviewing of the bag. So I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna angle my camera just a little bit more so we can get some better shots of it. So here it is. This is it. Um, this is the bag. It's standing up. It can stand up on its own. The length of the bag, so this length of the bag, it's 12 by, uh, 12 by two, so it's about a ruler. Um, the height of the bag is 10.6, and the width of the side of the bag is actually 4.3 inches. So that's 4.3 inches wide. Um, so it is a pretty nice sized bag. Here's the bottom. Um, you'll see it's just in the in the regular canvas. It doesn't have the black leather on there. It has um, two black leather corners um, just on the side and again not on the bottom just on the sides and here on the back as well. The outside of this purse on the exterior you'll see that there are a few places where you'll see the Louis Vuitton monogram and then um, embossed as well. So you'll see just, you know, on the canvas itself, you'll see some Louis Vuitton there. You'll see the, the LV on this luggage name tag. It's a black one. You can remove this if you needed to, and if you can replace it with whichever tags that you want to have um, hanging from the front of it. But I think it actually looks pretty good with this um, tag that they originally put with it. You'll also see that on these zippers here you'll see that it does have Louis Vuitton on there as well and you'll see here as well um, it's embossed here it says Louis Vuitton and it says made in France there so you'll see that on the back side of the bag so there you have the front part you'll also see um, the little clasp here for uh, the actual straps and over here in the front you'll see that there is a um, pocket with a magnetic clasp so it's a pretty strong clasp there so you can slide some stuff in to this pocket especially if you're on the go and let's see and also there is um, here's also the model. This is just the tag that comes inside the purse. Again, we're reviewing the Odeon MM bag, which is the larger version of the bag. The model is in 50062. 
and then this also retails for about $1,900 US. So I'm gonna throw that back in there. Again, it's a nice magnetic clasp there. No other pockets on the outside and you'll have gold hardware. So you'll see the gold hardware on there and then the zippers um, just unzip. You can zip them right to left, left to right, middle, whichever way you want to have the, the zipper closure. So um, it looks great each way. And then again, the two strap rings. Let's go ahead and take a look at the inside of this purse. On the inside of this purse, you'll see that it has black cloth trim. And black is very forgiving, so if you get any stains in here, um, it shouldn't be noticeable. You'll also see right here, let's see if I can get this a little bit closer, there's a strap to this purse inside. There is also um, a small pocket. It doesn't have a magnetic closure, it's just a, but it's just a side pocket. So that's there. Um, in that pocket, looks like there is a tag there. Um, it just says Louis Vuitton textile, um, coated fabric, cowhide leather trim, man-made lining. So that's what it has in there. So I'll just throw that back in there. And it's just textile lining inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the actual strap out of here. Flip this back over so that you can get a good view of the purse while I'm um, reviewing the strap here. So this is a removable strap. It's also adjustable. It is um, 16.5 inches. Uh, the uh, strap drop max is 19.7, so it is extendable. It is um, coming in on the third um, hole there from the bottom, and you'll see that um, right there it has Louis Vuitton embossing there. Also, you'll see on the buckle, it does say Louis Vuitton there. I don't know if you can see that, but it has Louis Vuitton there. There's this little plastic, little plastic wrap here on the buckle. So when you're ready to wear it, just make sure you remove that. So it definitely has some holes so that you can adjust um, the strap for carrying it on your shoulder or using it as a crossbody. And then it has another area here that has Louis Vuitton um, engraved here onto that strap that little buckle there. And then same on the other side. So Louis Vuitton there. There isn't much any, uh, much more that I can really give details on. Nice stitching. Um, this is about an inch wide, I'd say. Uh, let me just, I have a little ruler here. We can measure just to see. So let's flip it over to the inch side. All right. So yeah, it's about, it's sitting about an inch there, an inch wide. So if you're curious on how wide that strap is, it's, it's an inch. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach the straps to the purse. Put that right in front of the camera here. sure that I'm doing it correctly. Just clasp that. Very easy clasp. Just push in and then just clasp it. So here's the purse. It's a great everyday purse. You know, again, I think this is the best use for this is gonna be using it on your shoulder and then also as a crossbody. I am always on the go. This is perfect for me to just throw on to my shoulder or just as a crossbody, jump into the car, jump out of the car, run quick errands. 
really it's just a perfect everyday purse to use. So first thoughts so far, first impressions. I'm gonna say that I, I really like this purse. It's it's a nice size. Um, some people think it might be a little bit too big, but I actually think it's perfect. Um, let me go ahead and do um, a comparison with a sheet of paper. I think this will help help visualize um, for you because you know as as I'm putting it in front of the camera, of course, it looks it looks pretty big. Um, but here's a, a standard sheet of paper, you know, an eight and a half by eleven. So if I put it against this purse here, you'll see this, the paper is, is horizontal. So um, the purse is just about as wide as, as a piece of paper. And then I'm gonna go ahead and turn the paper, put it towards the bottom right there. And it's just slightly, slightly a bit, this is from bottom up. So slightly, shorter than the paper um, right side up. So if you wanna just kind of compare it to a sheet of paper, that's how it compares. That's really all guys. I mean, it's a very cute everyday purse. I am actually really digging it the more I'm looking at it. I don't see any imperfections on this particular one. Of course, I'll inspect it a little more after this video. I'm going to say that this is a winner. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and until my next video, thanks and bye.